two years. It's been two years since Spirit entered the eternal calm. I was given a new life. For a year, I was able to walk alongside Yuna. It was great. It really was. Pergam and I were walking down Bevel Stadium Road, formerly known as Micah Road. The stadium that was supposed to be completed by now is still bearing its skeleton. Will the tournament really take place here? How will the Council take responsibility if it doesn't? Well, it doesn't really matter to me. It has no bearing on my life. The real issue for me is the crowd up ahead, and the star shining in the middle of it. Hey, Chiwami, not that way. We gotta hurry. Waiting on you, so we might as well just be late. Anyway, look. Isn't that Titus? Huh? Oh, wow, it is him. Let's go take a closer look. Okay. What, are you nervous? <laughs> the reason for Kurgum's nervousness wasn't Titus's status as a Blitzball superstar but because he was one of the legendary guardians. Alongside High Summoner Yuna, he had literally saved Spira from annihilation. By the by, I too was feeling a little nervous. My reason being that he knew my father. Cheer for me, okay? Can I get your autograph? Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, that's so Thank great. Thank you. Thank you. Can I get an autograph too? Hey, shake my hand, man. I've been your fan right forever. Titus, we're rooting for you. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. It wasn't just his words that were hollow. When I shook his hand, his grip felt weak and lifeless. Okay, well, I gotta get going. I'll see you all at the stadium. Now that is what you call a star. That I won't deny, but... What is he? I think he's injured. Or maybe he's sick or something. Hey, Kurgum, which team is favored to win it all? Probably the Besaida Arx. And after them? The Albed Psyches, maybe? Okay, let's find a betting parlor. We might make a fortune. Chuami, is that really... you know... Allow me to make formal introductions. This is my childhood friend, Kurgum. If all was right in the world, he'd be a summoner. But, things as they are, he currently serves as a council-authorized sender, who ushers souls to the far plane. My name is Chuami, and I serve as Kurgum's assistant. But, in reality, he serves me. Now don't misunderstand. This isn't about love or some such, and it never will be. The future may be uncertain, but that I know for sure. This is not some kind of ironic lead-in. Repeat, not a lead-in. Come on, let's go. All right, all right. We had been assigned to fly to Besaid Island on behalf of Spira Council Chancellor Barilai. Just a minor errand, really. Is 
Is that Besaid Island? No, dummy, that's Kilika. We are approaching Besaid. Prepare for landing. <laughs> Did you just laugh? Of course not. Show on me. I can't breathe. Prepare for <laughs> landing, weapon yuck. Our objective is to meet the one and only High Summoner Yuna. She currently serves as an advisor to the Yeveners. Now, Yeveners, you know the story with them. Stuffy, anachronistic fossils. They're the guard dogs of the old ways and so-called morality. The recent commotion caused by hardline Yeveners has been quelled. But it's nauseating to think that organizations like that still exist in Spira. I really don't like these Yeveners, but I'd be lying if I said I wasn't interested in meeting the heroine who defeated Sin three years ago and freed Spira from a thousand-year curse. She also must have known my father well. What business does the Council have here? My apologies, Mayor Lulu. But my instructions are to speak to Lady Yuna in person. Oh yeah? Well then I guess we should let you see her. Not. Lots of people come here saying the same thing, yeah? We're here to spare Yuna any unnecessary headaches. Now state your business. But... Well, I guess you got a job to do too. Let's do this. I'll take you to Yuna, but I sit in on the meeting too. We'll all share the pain, eh? What pain is there for you, I thought. But I said nothing, because the big-breasted mayor and the oafish caretaker were also legendary guardians. They knew my father, too. So it wouldn't have been wise to start trouble right away. This place used to be called the Cloister of Trials. It's just a regular passageway now that there's no faith. Summoners used to walk through the room farthest down to meet with the faith. That's where Yuna is right now. What's Lady Yuna doing there? I mean, if there's no faith. Even with no faith, you can still pray. That's what Yuna does now. What does she pray for? Peace on Spira. Yeah, right. Say again? Oh, nothing. Uh, by the way, Mr. Waka, I'm a little confused about Yeveners. Their objective is not restoring power to the Yeven temples? What, we starting from there? Well, I guess it's pretty important, so I'll explain. Yeveners aren't trying to control the world through the teachings like the old temples did. All they're trying to do is live their own lives by the teachings. That's all. It's just one way of living. I don't quite understand the difference. The temples maintain several big lies. Sin being a manifestation of human misdeeds, the taboo against the use of machines, that kind of stuff. But everything else they said was pretty much on the money. Gratitude for the bounty of nature, respecting your neighbors. But all of that just sounds like common sense. I don't think you need to become a Yevener and pray. That's why I said it's one way to live, not the only way. How old are you? Seventeen. So you'll learn soon. The older you get, the harder it becomes to change how you live. Even in this new age, there are people that are lost. Yeveners are a gathering of people like that. So it's different from, say, New Yevon? Those guys were just using Yevon's name to gain the people's trust, eh? Their views were actually progressive. So the Yeveners are backwards thinking? Wait, no, that's not what I meant. Anyway, New Yevon is gone, and now it's a council. What's the point of discussing it now? So, to sum up, Yeveners are basically a gathering of weak people? Chwami! Why you gotta go and say it out loud? Everyone knows, they know! If they know, they shouldn't just crawl into a hole, they should go out and try to live. 
They think they maintain the peace through prayer? Talk about delusional. Chuami, was it? Be kinder. Be bigger. Your kind of thinking will only hurt those people. I didn't like how he said those people. As if he had no stake. Okay, wait here. I'll bring Yuna. Just keep it to business. If you hassle her like you did with me, I'll throw you out. Hassle? Perhaps I was hassling. I was irked. Praying for peace? Far too late for that. My mother was killed by Yevener hunters. She was impaled by a spear and died with blood streaming from her chest. She wasn't a Yevener, just a sympathizer. If it wasn't for them. Chuami, I know how you feel, but please, we have a job to do. I know. Just please. Oh, it's Lady Yuna. Hello, and welcome to Besaid, home of the Yeveners. I am the Priestess Yuna. Greetings, my lady. I am Kurgam, an authorized sender. I have long wanted to meet you, and I have something for you from Chancellor Berylai, and... I see. Then please leave the package, and be on your way. Uh, hold on there. Did you just hear what he said? He said he's waited a long time to meet you. Ever since he awakened, he's been waiting for this day to... No, it's fine. You must be very busy. Kurgum, stay out of this. But Lady Yuna said she's busy. Busy? Too busy to eat? Too busy to sleep? Too busy to talk just a few moments to guess who came all the way from the Vel? I apologize. I had to interrupt my prayer, so... I'm feeling a bit anxious. I think Spira is peaceful enough without your prayers. Sure, there's trouble here and there, but the Council takes care of most of them. <laughs> I suppose so. Huh? Hey, we don't need that kind of talk. You brought something, then let's see it. Yes, um, here it is. Kurgum gave the sphere he received from Chancellor Berylai to Yuna. The sphere showed an image of the moon flow. In its currents were two enormous yet adorable shoe puffs, wading together lovingly, tangling their long noses. Two shoe puffs? One morning, there was another one. Well, where'd it come from? The moon flow shoe puff is supposed to be the last one. Thirty years ago, there was a shoe puff couple, but the female was attacked and killed by sin. There are elderly folk who claim that it is that shoe puff. The beckoning. Yeah, it has to be. But this time, it's not the Yeveners. We've forbidden the beckoning outside of the far plane. I don't know the reason, but Chancellor Berylai insisted that Lady Yuna see this, then come to Bevel to discuss it. Kurgum. You're a sender, right? Yes. Then you can do it too. This shoe puff is merely an illusion. If you send it, it will cease to be. That's not the only problem. The moon flow is overflowing again. The area around the moon flow is always teeming with spiritual energy, but this is... abnormal. We need to find out why, on top of finding out who brought back the shoe puff. I'm pretty sure the Council thinks it's the Yeveners. So it's best if Lady Yuna goes to see them personally. Her voice carries weight with many. Baralite just wants Yuna to bail him out. Appease the Council yourself, why don't you? Waka. Yuna was supposed to be spared from politics. That's why she shouldn't... She shouldn't... I'm so sorry. I can't go. But that will get you two in trouble, right? So let's do this. I'll create a letter sphere for the Council, and you can take. I saw Titus in Bevel. Your boyfriend, right? Yes. Did he look well? He was hiding it, but he looked injured. Really? 
Waka, did you know? Nope. Probably doesn't want to worry people. Chiwami. I see. Yeah. Okay. Yuna, let's go talk to Lou. All right. After leaving the temple, we were left alone for a while. I don't know what they were discussing, but it was clear that Yuna was moved more by her boyfriend's injury than Spira's current problems. Hey, Kurgum. Hmm? I'm a little annoyed. But it looks like we can fulfill our duty. Besides, we get to talk to Lady Yuna a bit more. I always wanted her advice on how summoners should live in a world without the faith. And you, you can ask about Master Orin. Shh. They find out I'm his daughter, they'll all start kowtowing. That info is our doomsday weapon. Orin's daughter? Mayor? Is that true? Yes, it is. <laughs> did you just... Did you laugh? Have you ever lived with him? No, but I heard stories from my mother. Have you even met him? I was too little to remember. Hmm. You can't prove otherwise. You don't look like him at all. I take after my mother. There were others that looked more like him. Huh? Orin, Roska, Jekt. I've met many a swindler claiming to be their children, asking for their things. And you think I'm one of them? Are you calling my mother a liar? I won't go that far. But if Orin did have children, there's no way you wouldn't remember him, and he wouldn't hide it from us. Orin isn't that kind of man. Big breasts, bigger attitude. Just because she knows Orin, she thinks she can say anything. I've confirmed the mayor as a hostile, but that's just fine. I'll deal with her eventually. Anyway, we, I mean Yuna, Kurgum, the caretaker Waka, and I, decided to stop by the Moonflow before going to Bavel. The airship had mechanical problems and couldn't fly, so it was an arduous trip. Furthermore, the banks of the Moonflow were packed with people wanting to see the new shoe puff. Oh yeah, there really are two shoe puffs. Wow, there's so many spectators here, yeah? Not precisely, Waka. Huh? What are they if they're not spectators? Half the people here are illusions. The Moonflow energy is responding to the will of the living. It's as if we're in the far plane. Yes. What? You can sense it too, Kurgum? Yes, I can. For instance, that family there? The father and daughter are alive, but the mother... So sad. I've never been on a far plane pilgrimage, but is it always this vivid? Not quite. It's true, this almost seems too. Come on, Melo. We have to get home before night falls. Okay. Um, Mommy? You're coming with us, right? She can't do that, sweetheart. But why? She's here! She came to see us! Come on, Mando. We can come visit her again another time. No! I want her to come home! Ugh, nice work, Dad. Of course she's gonna say that. It's hard enough to say goodbye once to a dead parent, but twice? That's just cruel. Hey, Mommy. Go come with us, right? Come home? Yes, Mando. Let's go home. Really? This can't be. Lady Yuna, could this be? Unbelievable. Kurgum, explain. A Beckon delusion doesn't speak. More accurately, only the Beckoner can hear the voice. So, what? If it's not an illusion, we call that real, right? You should report this to the Council at once. Agreed. Let's go. Hey, Kurgum, what are you doing? 
You're gonna dance? Souls must be sent. Order must be maintained. Kurgum, not now. It'll only cause sadness. But this is too unnatural. It's wrong. The Council must have known about this and wanted you to see it, right? So you can do something about it? Even if that were so, now is not the time. No one has the right to violate this reunion. Not me, not the Council. Forget about rights. Look. Look how happy they are. You two start sending everyone here, there'll be a riot. I don't want to be collateral damage. Well, a little sending here and there won't take care of this, right? Let's come back later. But... Kurgum, please. And so, we return to Bavel. Chuami, your shoe. <laughs> what are we waiting on? More importantly... More importantly? Is there anything more important than my question? Uh-uh. I don't think so. When I stopped the sending, Lady Yuna looked relieved, right? I guess. I thought Lady Yuna was a righteous person. Excessive hero worship. You expect too much. Maybe... you're right. Looking back now... We could have predicted this. What we saw that day at the Moonflow wasn't just an omen. It was a clear sign of the return. The return of what is now right before my eyes. Sin. Sin? It has to be a mistake, right, Chuami? It's just some big monster. No. That is Sin. The sin that should no longer be. Are you saying someone beckoned it to return? Yes. Very strongly. Someone strongly wished for sin. But what... What are we gonna do? Only a summoner and the final Aeon can defeat sin. But Lady Yuna, without the faith... Yuna, let's go back to Bisei. They'll push this all on you. It doesn't matter to people that there's no faith. Sin is for summoners in their minds. That's just how it is. Kurgum, you coming? I will abide by Lady Yuna's decision. Lady Yuna! I have to see Titus. What is the deal with this woman? Seriously! Chuami. What are we waiting on now? Uh, Chuami? Chuami, that room is... Shh. Uh, Chuami, it's not polite to eavesdrop. Don't tell me you're not curious about what the High Summoner and the Superstar are talking about. What does that mean? You have that girl, so... I told you, Marfi is just a friend. Really? Come on, Yuna. If you just think for a minute... I can't think. You're not yourself. Yeah. Something's wrong with me. I didn't think this would... I'm sorry. Well, as long as you're aware of it. No, that's not what I mean. I'm sorry, but... I'm no longer looking at you. What? I think... I'm in love with someone else. Uh, who? Someone you don't know. Well, let me meet him then. I'm sorry. Kurgum, this is unreal. Unreal! The world is about to end and she's having a spat! Uh, why on Spira are you crying, Kurgum? <laughs> Chuami, 
I'm sorry. I'm in love with Lady Yuna. That's why I can't be with you. I'm sorry. Say what now? Since when is our relationship like that? What's going on here? If it's not like that, then it's fine. Yes, let's say goodbye here. We each have to go our separate ways. Kurgum? You can't understand, Shuami. Only summoners can. Ah, and there it is. The Doomsday Statement. I'm sorry. Whatever. So I left the summoners and came back to Besaide. I was a little frazzled and not thinking straight, but I probably came here to drag out the people who defeated Sin once. Determined though he may be, it was too big a task for Kurgum. And that was it. So you just came crawling back here? That's a laugh. So who do you think this guy is, Yuna loves? Figure it out yourself. But she said it was someone I don't know. <sighs> what? Look for her, find her, embrace her. But that's... You're really pathetic. I thought you knew Yuna better than that. I thought I did. Thought you did. I hate to interrupt, but Sin? Those two knew it was hopeless, but... Who said it was hopeless? What? I mean, Sin came back, right? What's to stop anything else from coming back? Does that mean... I didn't quite understand, so I looked at Titus. With furrowed brows, he looked intently at the mayor, then suddenly opened his eyes wide. We have to go. Yeah. I was as confused as ever, but I couldn't ask. All I could ask was... I wonder where they are now. Wherever they are, we have to get there. Even though she dumped you? I made a promise that we'd always be together. Really? The mushy stuff now, I thought? But as I saw the pain in his face, I could say nothing. I must defeat Sin. Oh